What's up everybody? In this video, we're gonna build this topology you see in Packet Tracer. So, just a warning, at this point in the course, you're gonna start to see the uh, concepts start to get a little bit deeper, more technical, and more interactive. So, go ahead and open up Packet Tracer. If not, follow along as I do it. All right, we're in Packet Tracer. I'm gonna show you one thing, quick tip, use documentation. At the top, you'll notice um, a note-taking icon or a, a clipboard. Click on that, that's gonna let you start to type you know, words out inside a Packet Tracer. So we know this video is building a LAN, and there you go. So uh, also, if you're ever presenting using Packet Tracer, you can zoom in to make the uh, objects larger you know, and, and to zoom in a little bit more on your topologies because your topologies can get a little bit more, uh, you know, technical and involve more devices. So you may need to zoom out at some point. But for this point, we had to zoom in. All right. So the, the LAN, right? So a LAN is a local area network. And that is in the, in the, the name, right? Local area network, meaning it, it makes up a smaller area. Uh, it's you know you read books about it and they say small uh, land makes up a small geographic area but really you can think of your a land as your home network uh, an off a small office network uh, and, and I don't want to say the whole office because if it's a large office there could be multiple lands but try to you know think in terms of maybe small buildings floors and in your home. So what are the components of a network? Um, and what are the components of a LAN? The components are a switch, right? Which is our central connecting point and our star topology. And then there are, so there are network devices. One of them is a switch. There are routers, and we're gonna get into routers a little bit later on in the course. But for now, we'll drop it in there. Uh, and then there are end devices. So. Uh, network devices, there's a category you'll hear often, are typically connecting devices together. Uh, the switches, routers, access points are network devices. And then there are end devices. End devices are devices on the end of the network. Typically that's the devices we're on, the computers, the PCs, laptops, phones, tablets, you name it. So what, what happens on a network is you have typically, you know, several end devices that have some type of connection to a switch or at home, typically you're wirelessly connected to your home router, which is a router and a switch and a web server. And trust me, it's, it's a lot. It's an integrated service device or an, uh, you know, an all-in-one device. Um, so you have your end devices that connect to one of these, you know, central connecting points. But typically in a business environment and in most enterprise environments, you have switches that connect to devices. You don't typically connect to only one router wirelessly like you do in a small business or at home. So when you're in an enterprise environment, you have devices that are physically cabled in and typically they're connected to uh, drops, you know, on the wall, which are a, a RJ45 port or an ethernet cable port. Uh, and on the other side of that wall drop in the wall is a, uh, another cable, that, a longer cable that runs back to ultimately the switch. And, and we'll talk about the patch panel too, but just know that the connection ultimately runs back to a switch to be able to connect you to other devices. So we'll connect all these devices together. Notice how when I click in Packet Tracer, you see ports come up. And then you see that convergence happen. So I'm going to fast forward that and make sure they go green. I'm going to connect to the router, but again, we're we're going to do the router in a separate in a separate video. For now, what I want to do, and I want to challenge you right now, if you know, if you have some knowledge already, and I don't expect you to already, get these two computers that we just connected talking or ping between them. Pause the video and do that. Uh, when you're back, when you come back, we'll 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 uh, we'll do this as a walkthrough. So if you pause the video, great. Otherwise, let's walk through this. So 
we got our physical connections, right? Our, you know, we, their lights are green. We have the connect. Could they communicate right now? The answer is no, because you need an identifier called an IP address. So for now, just understand that an IP address is a logical identifier for a computer. It's kind of like your a phone number in a phone. So here we go. I'm going to show you how to give an IP address to a computer. And, and this is pretty practical in every operating system. You could Google how to look a, how to give an IP address to Windows and how to give an IP address in Mac, how to assign an IP address in Ubuntu or whatever distribution of Linux you're running. Um, what I want you to know though is after this video, I'm going to do this on Windows as well. So we're going to build the LAN here in Packet Tracer and we're going to do it in Windows, uh, in Mac, and in Linux uh, on a real network. So keep that in mind too as, as you're walking through this. I'm showing this to kind of lay the, fr the framework for doing this in real life. So um, we know we, when we open up the PC, you can go to desktop, just like a desktop in Windows. It doesn't quite look like it. It doesn't have the start menu and all those uh, it doesn't have a GUI really, I and mean, it's trying to simulate one. So we're going to go to IP configuration. And one thing I want you to know right now, and to ask yourself, is did you give your did I give my uh, uh, computer an IP address? When's the last time you gave your phone an IP address? So if you think about that, um, you're probably wondering, hmm, I never did that. Who did? Was that the provider? Was that Apple? Was that Google? Was that who did that? Well, actually, your router did it. Most of the time, networks and IP address on IP address management happens using a DHCP server, which we're going to cover that. But just know for now, the the router at your, on your home network and the server in an enterprise environment is typically what gives out IP addresses to computers automatically. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a manual assignment or a static assignment of an IP address. And we're only going to do the two, two fields for now. We're going to do the IPv4 address and the subnet mask. So here we go. I'm going to type in the standard IP address you'll see. Do 192.168 and I'm going to do 0.10, right? And then I'm going to give it a subnet mask. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to do 192.168.0.10. Subnet mask will autofill. Let it autofill. I promise we'll talk about the subnet mask one step at a time. Uh, crawl, walk, and then run. So then we've got an IP address. I want to show you how you can confirm it. You'll go to command prompt. and In Windows, you can do essentially the same thing. Type CMD. Do IP config. Enter. That'll show you in there. And then in the PC here, though, you can do IP config. And you'll see same same uh, output, right? So my assignment worked. I gave it an IP address. I think you should always configure and verify. So then I'm going to go to the other PC and I'm going to show you. I'm going to give it dot eleven. So we're going to do one nine two one six eight zero dot eleven. And again, remember it's okay if you don't know what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Just follow along as I do it. I promise. Uh, you'll get this. So um, assigned it, right? Go to command prompt, do IP config. You'll notice here, got dot eleven. Now let's try to ping. What is ping? Ping is a test message. What actually happens in the background is the ICMP protocol uh, does an echo request, which means, hey, I, I'm I'm trying to, you know. Send a message out there, echo, and I need a reply, right? So there's an ICMP echo request, and then there's ICMP echo reply. Ping is just the utility or the program we're using to, to uh, generate that ICMP test message. This is, ping is normally used to test uh, connectivity, although it's largely being blocked because of attacks out there called um, pings of death, which are denial of service attacks. So I'll put some information about those in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and ping dot 10 because that's my other computer or my neighbor. So you can consider your network a neighborhood of devices, right? So I just pinged and it was successful. What I want you to see here that indicates, you know, that it was successful 
is that the reply sent back statistics. And if we look down here at the statistics, you'll notice I got four sent, four received at a 0% loss. So that shows, okay, my IP addressing set up, my physical cables are, are properly um, connected and, and the ports are functioning. So that tells us, hey, look, we've built our first network. And this is in, of course, Packet Tracer, right? Um, but we're gonna do it in the next video. I'm gonna show you how this looks in the real world. So I'll see you there.